Okay, <laughs> now we can go into a problem sum, but they say R, S and T are three points on a level field. All right, the bearing of S from R is 68 degrees. Now let's look at it again, this is the level field. The bearing of S from R is 68 degrees. And the bearing of T from R is 102 degrees. Now you look at it again, the bearing of T from R is 102 degrees. This whole angle from north, because this is north, is 102 degrees. All right, that's 102 degrees. So what do you think this angle will be? It's 102 minus a 68. Great. So when you take away, you borrow, this becomes 12, you get a 4. 10 becomes a 9, you get a 34. So this angle here is 34 degrees. Right. It's good to write as much information as you can in your picture. But I don't like sometimes my untidy writing, right? Look at that. Oh my God. I tell my students we need and I must be a role model too. 34 degrees, okay? Now it's given that T is 5.5 kilometers due south of S. T, when you say south, okay, this 5.5. So this is your north, north, south, east, west. Now we are ready. Now find the distance T from R, T from R. If you have 68 degrees here, you know, my dear, you can see the alternate angles staring right at your face, 68 degrees. And they want to find the distance of T from R. Let me call this a small t. They want to find out RT. Very simple, you can use sign rule. Remember your sign rule? Ah, so let's do it. Do one set. So we said sine 34 degrees over 5.5 equals to sine 68 degrees over RT, or you can call it T, small t I call it. You put your RT there, so what do you get here? 5.5 sine 68 degrees divided by sine 34 degrees. Now get your calculator please, press right on. Now you've got 5.5 sine 68 divided by sine 34, 34 and you get 9.11 9, 9.12. Alright, so your RT is 9.12 kilometers. That's your answer. Now, what is the shortest distance? Alright, from S to RT. From S to RT. RT is here. What should it be? Yes, the shortest distance is the perpendicular distance nearest to it. If you're walking across, if you're, this is where your school is and this is the path that you have to walk, the shortest distance if you're on this path will be this path. If you're going to go this way, it's long. You're going to go that way, eh, long, long, until here. Shortest distance. So your perpendicular distance, all right? The shortest distance from S to RT is this line, RT. Now I'm looking for Rachel, yes. From S to RT will be this distance, all right? Okay, they call it H. We know this. We know this is 34 degrees. We can find out what this angle is. You have 34, 68. Can we get this angle? Add these two up, okay? And then we can use the right angle. Remember all our weapons for trigonometry, twakaso, sine rule, cosine rule, the area of triangle, half A, B, sine C, all come in handy, Pythagoras theorem, everything. Alright, so now it's where it calls for all these skills. 
Now you got 34, you got 68. You add them up together. You get a 12, you get 102 degrees here. And then, all right, you can see 180, take away 102. This angle, the angle sum of triangle, what do you get? You get a 78 degrees. Am I right? I can't be careless too because I'm human. What do you think? You get 100, 112, 120, 180. Yes, I'm right. <laughs> okay, now once we've got that, I better label this part. This is part A, part B. The shortest distance will be staring before you. Look at the information and ask, what is the best way of getting that? The best way is to look at this triangle and you can see this is the 90 degree. If this 90, that's 90. You get, what is it, Tua Caso? Remember, Tua Caso, the lady with the fat ties. <gasps> it's not me. <laughs> all right, so these are things, remember, Tua Caso, all right, it's tangent sine cosine. So sine 78 degrees will be H over 5.5. So H will be 5.5 sine 78 degrees use your calculator again you look at it again is it 5.5 sine 78 and you get 5.379 5.38 so what you've got your h is 5.38 kilometers so the shortest distance whenever you answer questions Please have them in complete sentence, all right? Express it clearly, because who knows what is H standing for? Only you know, all right? Shortest distance from where to where? From S to RT, all right? To RT is 5.38 kilometers. Point, all right? So you got that done. Next thing. A boy was spotted 5 kilometers due east of T. East, remember? North, south, east, west. He was 5 kilometers away from T. And then find the bearing the boy from B. Sorry? From, actually it's from, sorry, it's from S. I'm sorry. It's from S. Find the bearing the boy from S. All right? Where's the bearing the boy from S? I'm going to draw this part again a little bit here to show you. Hey, this is what we've got. And the boy is somewhere here. This boy is here. Find the bearing the boy from S. S is here. And the bearing the boy from S. We know this is 5.5. And we said the boy is 5 kilometers away. And what is the bearing? We've got this angle at 68 degrees. This is 34. And we got this at 78. All right. What is the bearing of the boy from S? All right. This is north. Got it? The bearing of the boy from S. You've got to get this reading. Now to get this reading, if we can find out what is this angle here, it will be good. It's just 180 minus that. And what do we use? We use a tangent. I call this X, tangent X. All right, tangent X will be equal to 5 over 5.5. Find out an inverse tangent, get an inverse tangent, shift, shift inverse tangent, oops, shift inverse tangent, bracket 5 divided by 5.5, and we got 42.3 degrees. So x is 42.3 degrees. So the bearing of this boy from s will be this whole angle, all right? So the bearing will be 180. This is 42.3. So this angle 
will be 180 minus 42.3 take away borrow this will be 7 this will be 9 this will be a 10 you get 7 7 3 137 all right bearing of boy from s is a hundred and thirty seven point seven degrees you can round up to a hundred and thirty eight degrees all right so that's the bearing of the boy from s now find the distance of the boy find the distance the boy is from s all right once you have a diagram a diagram is worth a thousand words they say how true it is without the diagram you will be kind of lost now you want to find the distance the boy from s this whole thing there are many ways of doing it number one you can use pythagoras theorem number two you can use your angle you can use sine sine of this is opposite over sb all right we put the boy as b so this distance this is C part 1, C part 2. If you want to use Pythagoras theorem, SB squared is 5.5 squared plus 5 squared. And all you need to do is then find the square root of it. So 5.5. Mm -mm. My fingers are fat. So that's why sometimes I slip the point. So you've got to be very careful. Always watch and see what you're punching in. 5 squared sum of it find the square root of it and you get 7.43 so the boy sp the square root of it is 7.43 kilometers now you can you obviously it must be longer because it's the hypotenuse and if it's going to be less than 5.5 or 5 you're certainly wrong all right because i said hypotenuse Remember, we had the joke, sometimes it's mispronounced as hippopotamus. Ah, it's huge, it's big. So this must be longer than these two sides. So 7.43 kilometers. Now, what is the alternative method of doing it? Another method. I can also take this and say, hey, sine 42.3 degrees is equal to 5 over, let's call it as y. All right, over y. So what's y going to be? Y is going to be, you bring this up, 5 divided by sine 42.3. Press it in your calculator. You know, you are curious just like me. We want to see is this answer role matching. All right, okay. You just want to, all right, we get 7.43. Oh, so, yeah, they're right. All right, alternative method tells me that we are on the right track. You need to be assured at times, my dear. They all are in sync. Maths doesn't tell you that one thing and then another thing doesn't match. Something is not right. They all match as a total picture. So this is a great sum on the bearing. All right, how you get the direction, how you move about it. Look at this picture. They tell you this is due south. And from there, you do it part by part. Go through the sum again. Go through the video and look through and understand it. All right? And we'll come to fifth sum very shortly.